central tendency, central tendency. The mean is the average of the lot. The mean is the one in the middle spot. The mode is the one you see a lot. Mean, medium, mode. Mean, medium, mode. All right, so mean is the average of the lot. Median is the one in the middle spot. And then mode is the one you see a lot. So I'm gonna sing it again, and you better sing it along with me. It goes mean, medium, mode. Mean, medium, mode. Central tendency, central tendency. The mean is the average of the lot. The mean is the one in the middle spot. The mode is the one you see a lot. Mean, medium, mode. Mean, medium, mode. Now y'all know I sound good. That's all right. All right, so um, mean x bar average of the lot and how you find that is the sum divided by the number of values. The one in the middle spot, you have to order them from least to greatest. And mode is just the one you look at a lot. Okay, so then the next one is the lower extreme. What does that sound like? Small, so smallest value is the minimum. Then the next one is upper extreme. What does that sound like? Largest value, so that's the maximum. Then you have the lower quartile. So lower quart is the lowest 25%. We're so gonna call it Q1. And it's the medium of the first half of the value. Okay, so if you're only looking at half of it, you take half of that, you're gonna get more. So half, and then half of that. And so the lower quarter is the median of the first half of the first quarter. Then the upper quarter will be the top, uh, the 75%, which is called So again, if you if you had the line, you take half of the line, that would be the middle. Then the two middles of that would be Q1 and Q2. Right, then the range is the maximum number minus the minimum number. The interquartile range is when you take Q3 and you subtract Q1. So it's the range between the quartiles. And that's pretty much it. So for this unit, you just need to know all the definitions because after that, the calculator will do it. Looking at the examples, you're given this data set, and all you're going to do is plug it into the formula. Um, the calculator, I'm sorry, to find out what all these things are. But before we do that, we have to reset our calculator. So remember, you have to press second plus 712, then second plus 722, and then stat, five, enter. So we're clearing the calculator, do this every single time. All right, then to put it in, you're going to go stat, edit, and then enter your values into L1. So enter all of this. The order doesn't matter. Just make sure that you don't skip a single one. So you see I'm using my finger and moving on to the next one to make sure I don't skip any. Because it's, if you skip one, I'll change everything. All right, this is a listening check. Color in example one. All right, then you're going to go stat, then arrow over to calculate like we've done before. And this time you're going to choose first variable stats and press enter. And it's going to give you all the information that you need. You just need to recognize what the symbols are. So the mean is the one of the x bar. So that first one is the mean. So the mean is 75.31. The median, you're looking for something that says mid, mid, middle, and that's 73.5. The mode is the one that you see a lot. So that one's not in the calculator, you just have to look. And the way I do this is I use my um, like colors. So like I'm going to start at one number and then look to see if there's that other number. So I found 266. I'm just going to start at 82 and look, do I see any 82s? No. I go 84, do I see any 84s? No. 66, I already got that one. Keep moving, 75. And because I've already looked at the numbers on the right, I don't need to keep looking at those. So I can keep moving left until I see what I need. Alright, then 73, nope. 52, nope. 91, nope. So that's pretty much it. So it turns out that I have two modes. So and that's okay. I can just write those down. So my mode is 66 and 72. Those are the numbers that I see a lot. This is a listening check. I want you to color in mean 75.31. Lower extreme is the smallest number. I'm gonna find it by hand, but you really just go into the calculator and find your minimum. So the lowest extreme is 52. What's the highest number? If you look here, the highest number I can see is 98. But again, I'm just gonna show you how to do it in the calculator. Lower quartile, so that's Q1. So I'm looking for something that says Q1. So you see the low extreme, the minimum is 52, and then if you go down, the maximum is 98. I don't know why I was doing it by hand. All right, Q1 is what I'm looking for, which would be the low quartile, that's 67. Then I'm gonna look for the upper quartile, will be Q3, which is 83. And then the range is when you take the higher, the upper extreme minus the lower extreme, so 98 minus 52, and you get 46. Then finally, the interquartile range is when you take Q3 and you subtract Q1. So that's going to be 83 minus 67, which is going to be 60. 
So the biggest thing in this unit is understanding how to use stat and also understanding the short cut of how to use it. This is a listening check, color in lower extreme, 52. Okay, let's practice.